fired a ball about this big. It was a three three pound cannonball, so it was a like a little like a little pony compared to a horse, uh, a racehorse or something. It's just a, a, lot, a tiny little thing. Uh, they had borrowed this gun. He had borrowed this gun, and he had met about forty men uh, in Upperville um, in Fauquier County, and they had ridden down to. Uh, one little town called Greenwich, uh, Greenwich or Greenwich, spent the night. Most of the purpose with this gun was to uh, destroy a, a, a Union train, a transport train. And he, the next morning, had gone down to this one particular place just above uh, a, a train station called Catlett Station and found a nice little uh, mound to put his cannon on. And he uh, he knew exactly what he was doing. He had one of his men go up and cut the telegraph wires. Uh, he had had them loosen up, uh, take a, a spike out of one of the rails, and so that he could move the rail out. <laughs> he tied this, he tied this wire, telegraph wire around this rail, and put it back. And Mosby knew that when this train came off the tracks, it would go here, and that's where he wanted to hit it. And so he had his artillery officer aim in that spot where he knew that train was going to go off the track, okay? So here comes this 10-car train, you know, just chugging up the tracks, you know, just on a regular routine ride. And the Yankees had put regiments of cavalry at every mile along this track. Regiments of cavalry and infantry, every mile. Remember what I said about the enemy has to protect 100 points? I had to find one weak spot. This was a weak spot. He put this gun facing where Mosby knew where the, where the little train was going to go off the tracks. Sure enough, on Mosby's command, the guy pulls the rail out, and the engineer, of course, sees the thing, and he's trying to do one of these numbers, trying to try to pull back, pull back, pull back. It's not working very well. The train goes off the track and crashes, and boom, he hits the thing with the, with the cannon, and the cannon goes right into the board. But Louis, up she goes. Mosley knows that anybody within shouting distance is going to hear that cannon, or hear the border, and that they will be there in a few minutes. He fires a second round into the into the uh, the uh, tender car, blows that thing up. Meanwhile, his men have, have got um, bales of hay that they've stuck under the train. They're lighting the match these things, and they're they're footings on the train. And they go in and they're, they're taking their watches and their wallets and their rings and all this other stuff. Um, and they're, they're taking shad to fish and leather for shoes and just anything to get their hands on, stuff all this stuff in their, in their saddlebags. Mosby gives the order to run, let's go. They, they uh, relimber the cannon. Most uh, Stewart's only given 15 rounds. So to make a long story short, they use up all but a few rounds and they, they stop and fire. The Yankees chasing the stop and fire. And this thing goes on and on until they get to a place called Braidwood Farm, about six miles away. Mosby has put this little cannon on the top of us. There's a, a, a road that goes up to this small ridge, slight ridge, and on either side, the, the, um, uh, the trees and, and all the foliage are so steep that once you're in there, you can't get out. A horse could not possibly climb that because it's so steep. So once you're in there, you're trapped. Sure enough, the 5th New York Cavalry take the bait. He has two men go out into the road. Blam, 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 blam. Of course, they take the bait. They come running in columns of four around the corner. Fires the gun again. Boom, hits a couple of horses. Some men fall down. And he has guys on either side of this little road jump on these guys. And there's this pall of humanity fighting all the way up to where the gun is. By this time, and, uh, by this time, most of most of these men have left. They only have a couple of guys manning the gun. Uh, uh, one is stabbed through the thigh. Uh, another one is actually one of his men is actually using a rammer to fight the Yankees, and uh, he is uh, mortally wounded. Uh, Mosby is one of the last to leave, and as he leaves, uh, he's riding away. And his head hits a tree branch and knocks him back. Uh, you know, almost knocks him off his horse. But anyway, they, they lose the gun. 50 York cavalry get the gun. 
And uh, in his after action report, he writes to, writes to General Stewart that he lost his cannon. And Stewart's response to that was, I will pay that price anytime. And the price that he paid was to lose a little cannon and uh, five dead, a bunch of cannon were captured prisoners. But the thing that they gained was that the newspapers would pick this up. And of course, the northern press would punish these federal officers, these generals, uh, for screwing up. And here they were, once again, at Cambridge at the Cambridge Tech Railroads. And that was the PR value, if you will. I mean, I don't know if they had PR back in the back of the PR back in the 60s. But that's what Stuart's mind was going to say, was to turn, you know, to turn the sourness of the, of the northern people against the, their, their generals and to crank up, you know, this is another southern victory. It's not a big one, but it's still a victory for us. So they were fighting that, that fight, too. Uh, that was Greatwood Farm in May 30th, 1863. Most people was wounded three times. And when I would say wounded, I mean like close to death three times. He was actually wounded about seven times. Uh, but he was uh, shot three times. Uh, and uh, one of them, he had two bullets in him um, under one of these woundings. Uh, one of them, uh, he kept uh, until the day he died because it was right close to his femoral artery in his leg, down here in his leg, and he was not able to, uh, to have that removed. Um, he was shot at a, a place called, uh, uh, I can't remember the place called, top of my head, but uh, uh, Aaron was farm. Uh, and he was, there were Yankees in, who had run inside this place and uh, were, were uh, protecting themselves. Uh, and one of, them, one of them shot out and hit Mosby in the thigh. And um, uh, he was seriously wounded there and uh, had to take a few weeks to recuperate. I don't know how he did it, but he was very, he recuperated very quickly from these bullet wounds, so it's amazing. Um, and also one of the things that was very uh, a commonly, a common thread through all of this was that uh, his men had to keep him moving from one house to another, from one friendly house to another, just to keep one step ahead of the Yankees. So he would be moved from safe house to safe house almost every day. Uh, his second wounding was 